Welcome. We are starting Unit 3, and our first homework assignment, we're going to do problems 1A, 2C, 3B, and 4A. Today we are adding and subtracting polynomials. So the big idea today is we are practicing combining like terms. So remember, like terms are terms that have the same variables and the same exponents. Here are some examples of like terms. 3x squared plus 2x squared. Or 6x squared y minus 7x squared y. Or 5mn cubed plus mn cubed. And then lastly, let's look at this one. How about 8 pq squared minus 2 q squared p. These are all examples of like terms. Notice that I have the same variable and their exponents match. Power of 2, power of 2. Similarly, I have the same variables, x and y, and their exponents match. I have a power of 2 with the x, and then the missing power here with y is 1, but it's the same across both. Again, m to the power of 1, n cubed. These are like terms. And this one's interesting because it seems out of order, but I have a p to the power of 1. And at the same time, I have q squared in both. So it's OK. In this case, they look out of order, and that's fine, as long as you have the same variables with the same exponents. This would be um, not like terms. Not like terms, so caution, watch out. If I have like 3x squared y plus 2y squared x. Look at how these are different. So they're similar because the x and y are out of order. Right here my x comes second. And my y comes first. But here's what makes it not, what makes these not like terms. Here the x is being squared, whereas here the x is to the power of 1. Similarly, here the y is to the power of 1, whereas here the y is being squared. So these don't match up. I would not combine these at all. So you want to just be very attentive. Be alert. A lot of this has to do with just being very careful. So let's do our first example, problem number 1A. Okay, I am combining like terms, but I have to deal with, uh, I'm adding these two polynomials. So, since I'm adding, I don't really need these parentheses. Notice, there's nothing except for a positive 1 out here to distribute. And I don't really need to show that because things multiplied by 1 are just themselves. So I'm going to rewrite this. And over here, again, it's just plus. If I distribute the positive 1, it's just going to stay itself. So I don't need the parentheses at all when I'm adding. You can make a little note to yourself. So when adding, no paren, whoops. When adding, no paren needed. And paren just means parentheses. So all we got to do is find our like terms and combine. It's typical to start by looking for the biggest power. So here I have a squared. Here I have to the power of 1. This is just a constant. This is to the power of 1 squared and another constant. So let's start with our biggest powers first. Start with your largest exponents, or your biggest powers first. So if I have 3x squared, that combines with a minus 2x squared. And to combine them, I'm going to focus on their coefficients. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So I get 1x squared. Notice that I'm just copying down the letters. Okay, next, I have plus 5x to the power of 1, and I have plus x to the power of 1. So again, I'm going to combine these by adding their coefficients. That's plus 5 plus 1. 5 plus 1 is positive 6, so that's what I'm going to write down, plus 6, and then I just copy down the letter. We're almost done. I have a minus 2 and a plus 7. Now both of these are constants. That means there is no variable. Well, minus 2 plus 7 
gives me plus five. And we are finished. Let's do our next example. Number 2C. Okay, this one's a little more challenging. The only thing you need to do differently here is to substitute in. I have f of m, which is a function defined right here. And I have to substitute in g of m, which is a function defined right here. That's the only extra step, really. So instead of f of m, I'm going to rewrite this as three parentheses. I need the parentheses because I'm going to distribute, I'm going to multiply that three in. And notice I have three terms. So each term will be multiplied by the three out in front. So we absolutely need these parentheses here. So instead of f of m, I'm actually going to copy it down. That's 3m squared minus 5m plus 1. Closing the parentheses because I'm done multiplying that 3. And now I'm just going to copy down the rest of this, which is minus 2. Parentheses again. Now I'm going to substitute in g of m. And g of m is right here. So we just copy it down. So really, really, I just plugged that in right here. And similarly, I just plugged that in right there. It's really important that we have these parentheses. And now we're going to show distribution. So in our last example, we didn't need the parentheses because we were just adding. And out in front, there were just ones, OK? If I distribute a 1, nothing changes. It's really unnecessary to show the distribution. In this instance, I do have to distribute a 3. And so I do need these parentheses. Similarly here, I have to distribute this minus 2. So I do need the parentheses. So I'm going to ask you to show the spaghetti uh, strings here. OK, we're going to multiply. Now when I distribute, I'm going to focus on just the coefficients. 3 times 3 is 9, and then I copy down the letter. Let's do the second one. 3 times negative 5 is minus 15. Copy down the letter. And then finally, 3 times positive 1 is plus 3. Nice. Why don't you pause the video here and see if you do the second one yourself. But be careful. I'm distributing a negative 2. And whenever you distribute a negative, when distributing a negative number, you're going to make sure that you flip all your signs. So for example, negative 2 times negative m cubed, you don't really have to think too hard about it. You'd automatically know that this sign right now is negative. It's going to flip because I'm multiplying it by another negative number. So this is going to become plus 2m cubed. What will this sign be? Again, we're distributing a negative, so all signs will flip. So this will become a minus. 2 times 2 is 4. Copy down the letter. What sign will this be? It's going to be a negative, and then 2 times 7 is 14. Now all we have to do is combine our like terms as before. So here's what we got. 9m squared being combined with plus... Ooh, I just made a mistake there. I need to start with the biggest exponent as before. Start with biggest exponent, the term with the biggest exponent. So let's scan. Here I have power of 2. Here's the power of 1, which is invisible, nothing. Power of 3, invisible power of 1, and nothing. So my biggest power is cubed. I'm going to start here. Plus 2m cubed. Now I just wrote it down because there are no other m cubed. There are no like terms. So if it's all by itself with nothing to combine it with, we just copy it down. We just bring it down. OK, let's look next. I need, is there any powers of 2 here? There is. There's a plus 9m squared. I just copied it down because there are no other m squareds around. OK, now I need things to the power of 1. This is an invisible power of 1. This is an invisible power of 1. So I'm going to combine them like this. Minus 15m minus 4m gives me, when I combine the coefficients, minus 15 minus 4, that's minus 19m. 
And then last but not least, I have my constants. Plus 3, minus 14. That should give me minus 11. And this would be our final answer. So yeah, you could remove that plus way out in the front. It's not necessary. Let's do another problem. Number 3B. Okay, here. You have to watch out because we have these parentheses here. So ask yourself, do I need these parentheses or can I take them down? Well, look right in front of where the parentheses starts. If there's a number or a negative, you need to distribute. In this case, we have a negative. That means I'm going to have to distribute that in, and that's really a negative 1. So what's going to happen to all of our signs whenever we distribute a negative? If you said all the signs flip, you're correct. You're paying attention. So I'm going to copy all these down because nothing happens here. But now I'm going to flip all the signs. It's going to be plus m squared n. This is going to be minus, and I'm really multiplying minus 1 times positive 3, which gives me minus 3mn squared. And my last term is going to be plus 3m squared. Since it's just a minus 1, the numbers don't actually change because they're just being multiplied by 1. Only the signs will flip. All right, let's combine our like terms. That's the lunch bell. I have m squared n being combined with m squared n. Now careful, what are the numbers out in front? That's what you're going to add or subtract. That's a 1, and that's a positive 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 m squared n. Now I'm going to cross them off so I don't accidentally repeat them. Now, let's see, I have a minus 4 m squared. Let's see if I have any other m squareds. There we go. So minus 4 plus 3 gives me minus 1 m squared. Let's do this again. I have a plus 3 m n squared and a minus 3 m n squared. Now my m is to the power of 1 in both cases. My n is to the power of 2. So I know these are like terms and I can just combine them. What's plus 3 minus 3? Well, those will undo each other, so I don't have to write anything down here. So write your final answer. Ta-da! Okay, let's try the next one. I hope you heard that, girls. Tryouts wherever. Okay, so problem number 4A. So ask yourself here, what does our first step have to be? We've always got to take care of our parentheses first. And in this case, I have to distribute. We look right in front. I have to distribute this minus 2. I'm going to do it once, twice, three times, four times. Okay, so since this is where the real work is happening right now, I can just copy this stuff down until I finish my distribution over on the right. I'm just going to copy this stuff. Minus 7. Okay, now careful. I am distributing a negative. What do we always have to remember? What happens to all my signs? They flip. So just make sure that all your signs are going to flip. So minus 2 times 1a to the 4th is minus 2a to the 4th. So this was a positive, it's now a negative. Now look here, my second sign is going to be positive or negative? It's going to flip. So that's going to be minus 2 times 2 is 4, copy down the letter, minus 4a. Okay, what's my next sign going to be? It's currently a minus, meaning it's going to turn into a positive 2a cubed. And then last but not least, I have a positive 2, so it's going to turn into a minus and 2 times 2 is 4. 
Cool. Now you just have to do the combining like terms piece. So carefully. I'm going to start with my highest power. My highest power is a to the fourth. Do I have any other a to the fourth? There we go. So let's combine by focusing on our coefficients. That's minus 5 minus 2, which is minus 7a to the fourth. Next. A cubed. Do I have any a cubed in the house? Okay, I have 4a cubed plus 2a cubed. So focus on the coefficients. 4 plus 2 is plus 6a cubed. Next, I'm looking for a squareds. Are there any a squareds around? Well, this one's to the power of 1, so that's not what I want. This one's to the power of 1. So there are no a squareds. That's fine. We just won't write anything for a squared. What we have next is a to the power of 1. So here's plus 2a minus 4a. Well, plus 2 minus 4 is minus 2, and then copy down the letter. And last but not least, I have my constants. What's well, minus 7 minus 4? That's minus 11. So our final answer is just this guy right here. Okay, hope that was helpful for you. Sorry for the announcements interruptions. Uh, I hope that you have a great rest of your night.